in the name of my health and yours, Holmes, stop smoking so much. There is more fog in our apartment than in the street. You are right, Watson, but this evening is never ending, and I have nothing to do but make smoke rings. A more amusing pastime would suit better, but my doctor is against it. Perhaps a little tune on the violin. My heart is not in it tonight, Watson. Have you noticed how this cigarette burns? Would you not say it is like a life being consumed? How many lives will end tonight in London? How many crimes will be committed within the life of a single cigarette? Ah, the vanity of existence. It is but complaints and smoke, the meagre panache of its sickly soul. The tobacco is giving you very sombre thoughts. I am certain that this inactivity will not last. Let's retire. You'll be in better humour tomorrow. Reason speaks. Let's to bed. This way, my lovely. We'll have a right good time. Wait, let me help you. Oh, it's my hair that pleases you. The news is as dark as the sky, Holmes. An inquest has been opened into the murder of a poor woman in the East End. The unfortunate girl was discovered last night, lying in the street, still warm. The murderer was filled with an incredible savagery. Oh, the article gave me shivers down my spine. The inspectors in charge of the case don't seem to have even the slightest lead. A similar murder took place less than a month ago. Ah, love. A romantic walk, a kiss in the moonlight, a polite refusal, a terrible anger, and a hanging. This area of Whitechapel is a disgrace to London. The government should take serious note of what is going on there. Whitechapel? This woman was found in Whitechapel? Yes, indeed. Bucks Row, to be specific. Then it was not a question of romance, but of commerce. Unless these women actually take pleasure in the vice, the female nature is completely... Holmes, do you hear yourself? A woman is dead under unspeakable circumstances. No less than any other, she was a human and one of Her Majesty's subjects. None of these street walkers of which you speak have any other way to survive but by selling their bodies. You know as well as I that our era is not a gentle one and these women don't have much to look forward to. Some grace, if you would. Do not refuse them your compassion. 
Do not say another word, my dear Watson. We shall leave immediately for Whitechapel. To the scene of the crime? No, I think it would be better to arrive there a bit later once night has fallen. At the moment, the spot will be overrun by police officers and spectators. It will be impossible to investigate properly. Then where are we going, Holmes? The best thing to do would be to head to the police station and attempt to get a copy of the preliminary reports. But the article in the Times seemed quite complete to me. You must know, Watson, that journalists often draw conclusions from the facts without a proper understanding of how to do this delicate task. We must obtain the reports from the inspector in charge, as well as those from the coroner. Very well, Holmes, but all the same. It seems to me that I have a map of London somewhere, Watson. Can you find it and locate Whitechapel while I get ready? Hmm. You are too kind, Holmes. Searching through your mess... A map of London, at last. Let's see, the district of Whitechapel. I found the map, Holmes, and I was able to locate the Whitechapel police station. Congratulations, Watson. Come, the game is afoot. You can read the article to me on the way. We have arrived, Watson, in Whitechapel. Not very bright, and what cold! Brr, a typical London morning. Come, Watson, let's find this police station. Well, this station isn't very well kept, I say. It's a local outpost, Watson. The daily tasks that confront these constables are not the easiest, and they are poorly paid. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, I would like to speak with the Chief Inspector, if you please. Constable Humphreys here. I am the only one in at the moment. Uh, what do you want with the Chief? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am... Sherlock Holmes? The detective that I read about in the papers? Well, that's a treat, that is. You come about the Buck Road case, have you? Indeed, we... Not at all. Uh, we were just passing by chance. You say that there was a crime recently. You don't know? You must be the only folk in London who haven't heard. It won't be long until you find the culprit, no doubt. Nothing is less certain. Suspects, zero. Clues, zero. It's not good for us, especially not in this district. Listen, this isn't what I came here for, but if I can be of service, in a confidential capacity, of course, if you can entrust me with a copy of the preliminary reports, I could study them and return later with my conclusions. Hmm. It's just that these are official documents. I can't take a decision like that without the inspectors. The sooner we know the facts in the file, the sooner we can be of help, my friend. Say, if you are Sherlock Holmes, you can find anything, isn't that true? With your magnifying glass, footprints? My performance is often embellished by my biographer. Oh, good. Good. I will give you the reports, but could you do me a small favour first? During my rounds, I dropped a leather folder containing some papers. Uh, nothing of importance, but it's a big mistake. I would go looking for it myself, but I am stuck here on duty. I must have lost it near the seedy boarding house not far from here. Left when you leave the courtyard and left again in the lane. Perhaps you could go ask around. We shall see what we can do. Are we going to go look for these documents? Why not? It'll give us an occasion to take a tour of the district, Watson.
Good evening, sir. You wouldn't happen to have seen a leather folder on the ground around here, would you? Evening, gentlemen. Finley, caretaker of this building. Here to serve. And yes, less than an hour ago. But some of the local urchins picked it up and God only knows where it might be now. That's unfortunate. This folder contained documents that the local police will miss. Your inspectors? Not at all. I am Dr. Watson, and this is Sherlock Holmes, the detective. Sherlock Holmes, the great detective. You must be here about last night's murder. Have you discovered the identity of the poor woman? Indeed, I'd only to read the papers. Mine is dated from this morning, and it does not say who it is. I'm not really engaged in this case, but if I can help the police, I will do so willingly. Oh, to be sure. I've been told that Inspector Aberline is in charge. A very capable man. So, according to you, I have no chance of finding this folder, then? Indeed. But I, on the other hand, should be able to find it. Do me a favour in exchange. A vagrant comes almost every night to sleep in one of the nooks not far from my windows. He coughs, howls, sometimes even sings. He's quite hefty and I don't dare approach him. I've lost three clients because of him. If it's you who speaks to the police, they will take this matter more seriously. Tell them about the captain. They'll know who you're talking about. In the meantime, I'll find your bag. Let's go to the police station. So, gentlemen, have you found my sack? Not quite yet. Do you know a vagrant who goes by the name of the Captain? Captain? Yes, an old sailor, strong as a Turk and tattooed from head to toe. The drink has turned him into a derelict. He appears to be causing some problems for the caretaker of the building at the end of the street. What do you want us to do? Every night, stairwells, halls and porches become public dormitories and people don't only come to sleep. I believe this man has a niece who puts him up sometimes. Her lodgings are in Commercial Street, right after the alley with the boarding house. You won't forget my folder, will you? Do you believe this woman will agree to have her uncle stay with her? No idea. Oh well, let's go see her just the same. This is where the niece of the captain must live. Good day, miss. Would you happen to be the niece of the man known as the captain? Oh, yes, that would be me. What has he done this time? He isn't... Oh, my God. I'm on my way. Miss, we have come to ask if you could have your uncle come live with you. He sleeps under the windows of a tenement and causes the caretaker no end of problems. I know. I I've lodged him for a while and he was the same here. My landlord made me kick him out. I'm ashamed, you know. I never should have given the state of his health. He coughs day and night. There might be a way to calm his cough. I am a doctor. I could examine him. He went to see a doctor at the clinic. But the medicine costs too much. I can hardly pay my rent. We will see to it. Where might your uncle be found? I don't know. He must be in the vicinity, but I don't know exactly where. We will find him. Holmes, this is serious. Find an alcoholic in Whitechapel? 
A needle in a haystack would be easier. Come, dear doctor, let's trust to our lucky star. Moreover, we also have our informers, remember? Are you referring to those brats to whom you are always giving charity? Exactly. My secret police. Some of them are surely roam in this area. It suffices to find them. 